Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I want to say thank you to everyone that uh, always comments, and thank you to all my subscribers, and uh, you know, thanks to uh, you know everyone that likes to stop in every now and again, drop a line or two, you know, uh, make little funny little comments and all that. I really appreciate it. Um, and a lot of you that share real big personal comments, you know, um, I, I really appreciate that too. You know, really opening up and sharing at least with me, I appreciate it. Um, before we get started, um, I need to make a, a, a I need to make a little statement here real quick. Um, there's there's a few people out there, and it's it's happened throughout some of my videos that um, people either stop in and wonder or ask me. Um, why my videos have anything to do with the Mandela effect and I think a lot of you know that are here all the time and I guess this is for those that aren't you know or might be stumbling upon this for the first time um, you know I do this for you know people that are affected by it you know we tend to have similar traits we tend to have uh, um, similar you know ways of life you know or views on life and people and others you know now we don't always agree but for a majority you know we tend to agree to a certain degree um, but anyway um, so you're not really gonna learn anything new from my videos I'm not really here to educate really anyone I'm here just to relate to as many people as I can because I mean let's face it a lot of a lot of us are loners you know and um, we don't tend to find others, you know, like us very often. So I, I like to feel like this this channel is somewhat of a haven for people that um, feel a certain way. And any of you that have been here in this channel for a long time know that the people stay pretty much the same, and um, we get a few new ones every now and again. But you know, there's only so many people like us. You know, which what I'm going to be discussing today is another. Another thing that makes us a minority, or that makes us, um, you know, an individual, and that that that's what we want. We, you know, we want to be individuals, and I guess there's a price to pay for everything. And so, anyway, that that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Is another thing I think that makes us, I think, similar. You know, maybe not all of us, but for you know, for the majority basis, I believe that a lot of us are like this. I'm gonna try to keep this video short, but honestly, I've been making a lot of playful videos, a lot of you know, you know joking around and playing around and um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and drop a serious one out there for uh, for my channel you know and um, so anyway hopefully this means something to a lot of you and hopefully um, you know it, it sheds a little light on who I am for anyone new and for all of you that pretty much feel like you know who I am I guess I'm just gonna shed a little light on some of it so anyway what we're gonna be talking about today is integrity um, this is something I take very serious in my life. It's something that I live by, something that I have to remind myself of all the time. Um, if I look off a little bit, I have a few notes that I really want to cover because it was too big of a subject for me just to go totally, um, uh, totally no script. I, I, I'm, it's not scripted, but I have a few bullet points I want to touch on. So um, it's a code of ethics that we all live by. You know, or at least those that feel like they have a strong motivation towards their own integrity. There's a code of ethics that you live by, and you know, they they include so many things from the way you treat yourself to others, situations, everything. And you know, one of those things that I, I feel is important, and that's what I'm going to talk about, is a few of them that I think, a few issues that are I think that are important. Um, one of them is um, you do what you say. You know. Um, you know, you're you're able to you know either tell someone or you know lend someone a helping hand, or you say you're going to be there, or you know you say this is what you're going to do or accomplish, and you 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 set your mind to it or you set it to your priorities and you and you do it, and you know this builds your character with others, even if even if they don't say to themselves, man, you know that person really sticks to what they're doing, even if they don't say that, they still know it. It's still in their mind, and that's how. You know, you start to solidify your your character, and, you know, and who you are as an individual, and and in that you'll get a lot of respect for that. Um, you do the right thing when you're alone. I think that was an important one for me. You know, is what do you do when nobody's watching you? You know, do you um, do you uh, take the money and run? You know, that kind of thing. Um, you know. Um, 
the I saw an example that said something about um, if you you know if you hit someone else's car or you knock off their window or you scratch it or something on accident, what are you going to do about it? You're going to take responsibility for it. And, you know, to be honest with you, I really don't know what I would do in that situation. I guess it depends on where I'm at and I, I, I don't know, you know, but that, that's a good point though. You know, what, what are you going to do when nobody's around? And I think that, you know, either it be pick up, you know, a dollar or scratch someone's car you know, I, I don't think that you're you know not going to help someone. You know, I think there's still a line that people tend to cross and not cross. You know, but to what degree? That's that's the question. That's what's trivial. You know, but nonetheless, it's still a point. What do you do when you know no one else is watching? You know, and uh, another one. Do you do you treat everyone the same? You know, how do you how do you treat others? Do you um, you know, don't get me wrong. I've seen some transsexuals that are pretty frightening sometimes, you know, and I mean, I'm not a homophobe by any means, you know, or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I've seen some pretty some pretty scary characters in my day, you know, and uh, even like when you go to certain like ghettos and hoods and um, the other side of the tracks, you know, which uh, that's 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 where I'm from. But I'm by no means like uh, king of the streets or anything. So, you know, you do run into people that can be intimidating or make you feel uncomfortable, and, and by nature you'll you'll feel defensive and treat them differently. But I think that in my experience, and maybe it's because the way that I'm built, or the way that I'm shaped, or the way that I'm put together, or the way that I speak, you know, I've always had a way, a way of relating to people. And in my experience, you know, it doesn't matter what part of town I'm in. Usually, if I treat somebody with respect, you know, there's always going to be people looking for trouble you know always even if it's some little altercation about coupons at some chicken fried chicken place you know there's always going to be someone looking for some type of trouble you know but for the majority part though you know if you treat people the same and treat them normally you know i mean I, i've seen it before you know i mean this little old white lady you know lean over on like this ghetto black guy and like oh that was crazy and you know and it's not like the black guy says like you know get off me you crazy bitch you know i mean He's kind of surprised, but, you know, I mean, he's like, yeah, that was crazy. I'm just saying, I mean, you'd be surprised when you treat people pretty fairly, you know, and normal, you know, um, that, that earns you a lot of respect also. Um, and this is another one that I, I, I take a lot of pride in is admitting when you've made mistakes. I, I feel like I make my fair share. I am no means perfect or claim to be perfect or know all the answers or anything. And so anyone that ever comes at me with any of that, that's not really what I'm ever trying to do. I, I literally just want to make people or help people not feel so alone. Like that's it. Just see that there's a normal person that feels like them that maybe kind of has a big mouth. If there's anything I'm guilty of is having a big mouth and talking too much. So, and mm, I'm kind of ballsy too. So, you know, um, I feel like I still live by a same code of ethics that a lot of, you know, a lot of my viewers do, but I don't feel like all of them kind of act like I do. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of a loud mouth, you know, but other than that, I feel like I'm able to admit when I'm wrong, when I've made mistakes, when, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm clearly the one at fault. You know, I take a lot of pride in that. I can say, hey, you know what? That's a good point. I, n I never thought about that. Or, you know, that's a good idea. You know, now we all, I think we all get defensive if somebody's trying to force something on us, you know? So I really don't think that's really the same thing. I have had people try to force ideas onto me and I get defensive, even if they are right, which I can't even tell because I'm being forced into defensive mode and I start getting pissy and upset. But with the exception of that, you know, I think that when people do talk to you, you know, or try to explain things to you in a respectful manner, I think it, there's no problem in saying, oh, you know, that's a good idea. You know, I didn't think about that. Or, you know, man, you know, I, I was wrong. You know, I thought it was another way. Or I thought it was a certain way. I think there was, a little, there was a little bit more give and take with people. I think that there would be a bigger understanding with each other. And, you know, even if somebody's wrong, you know, and you feel like maybe they're wrong, maybe you should just give it a shot. Just give it a chance. If, they're, if it's going to fail, let it fail. You know, I've run a small business for a really long time, and sometimes when there's new guys that think they might know more than, than I do, and I've been doing it for a long time, and sometimes I'll just let them do it. You know, I mean, I've tried so many different things over the years, so little, many, little bitty different techniques to make my job more efficient. So, you know, sometimes maybe they are, they are wrong. You know, maybe sometimes you just need to let people go ahead and have their say. And I didn't, I didn't say you had to say, oh, you're right, but 
go ahead and give people that voice or give them that, give them that position, or some might even say, give them enough rope to hang themselves with. You know, I, I think in some situations you can do that, you know, but, you know, I think being able to admit that you're wrong or being able to at least hear out another point of view, you know, I think that says a lot about someone. You know, and like I said, it doesn't mean you, it, it, it automatically means they're right and you're wrong. You know, it just means that, you know, it's again, you're still feeding, treating people fairly, you know, even in, including yourself in the scenario, you know, treat them the way that you would want to be treated, you know, which we all know the, the golden rule, I guess. But, you know, I mean, are you able to admit that you've made mistakes and, you know, be able to take it in stride? And I know that's a really hard thing to do, and that's why I, I, I take a lot of pride in that one, you know, probably one of the most. Um, another important one for me is um, how do you make or can you make ethical choices without it meaning personal gain for yourself, you know, or without it meaning a personal gain? Um, you know, we're, really, we're literally from a country that is built on personal gain. You know, um, I really can't speak for how every country really is, but I know that's how this country is. You know, it's built on personal gain. It's it built on uh, making as many stacks of cash and etching out your own little slice of the pie. You know, that, that that's what it's all about. But... And don't get me wrong, a lot of business owners, maybe rich people, tycoons, people with silver spoons, um, they're probably going to tell you, you know, that's foolish. You know, I would never be where I was if I didn't take the money and run, you know. And so I know that this this one might catch a little bit of flack from people, you know, how are you supposed to make it in life, how are you ever supposed to get ahead. Again, it's a, maybe a different type of ethics. But you have to have a strong work ethic too, you know, and sacrifice, you know. And I know it's hard when you got children and all kinds of stuff. And believe me, I, I promise you, I understand. But there's a way to do it, to at least be able to sleep at night, you know. And I think that that's one of the hardest things that that you know I think that we do is being able to have a clear conscience and. Running a small business, I've heard so many good things over the years. Even though I may work a little too hard for too little of money, I always get recommended to other people. Although I always get treated very fairly and uh, very respectfully. And I can't say I have some of the best customers. I mean, some of you subscribers should know. You know, I, I'm what I am. <clears throat> I am what I, I, I am what I am here. But I'm like that in real life too. But I'm actually working for somebody because they're paying me for a service, and you know I do a, as good a job as I possibly can. But that bleeds into work ethic, which isn't necessarily what we're talking about here. But when it comes to personal gain, you're right. I could always cut the corners, you know, skim skim the layers, you know, save a little bit here, save a little bit there, you know, barely, you know, give them what they want and. You know, give them what they wanted, but just not all of it. You know, I mean, I mean, it is. You know, think about mechanics. Not to give mechanics a bad name, but a lot of you know, if you own an automobile, they see a BMW roll in there, they see an Audi roll in there, and they're probably going to try to start upselling you a little bit. And um, you know, like even like doctors and stuff. You know, I mean, it, it, it's. It's the way the world turns a lot of times, you know. So it is really difficult to make to make choices that aren't going to benefit you completely. I mean, you know, clearly don't sacrifice yourself, but I mean, don't like sacrifice everyone else to make a choice for your, for yourself, you know. That's I think that's what we're talking about. So but no, that was a hard one to do and uh but it is possible to do it, you know. So um so yeah, another important one for me. Um, I, I can talk about this one all day, but again, if any of you know me and have seen me pop up on any other channels or threads or even some of my own videos, sticking up for others, that, um, 
I think some of you could probably tell me I stick up for others to a fault. Or I think that um, I probably involve myself way too often, way too many times with too many people. And, um, but in my defense, I don't know. I, I wish I could just say that's the way I'm, I'm wired, but that's the way I'm hardwired. I mean, it's like it runs through my spine. I mean, you want to talk about something that would keep you up at night? That is what would keep me up at night, is wishing I had said something or wishing I had done something. You know, I don't know, like, I used to be a very mean person when I was a young man. And I feel like I owe the world something. And I feel like I have to try twice as hard as everyone else because it's really hard to be these things in real life. And sometimes I've involved myself when it's a no-win situation. But even if it means something to the one person I'm sticking up for, then it's worth it. Even I, I mean, even if they don't realize it, and you know you did the right thing, and you stuck up for someone, you know, I don't know. Like I, I, I have too guilty of a conscience for what I've done a long time ago that I need to have a clearer conscience for the things that I've been doing and things that I will do. And that's even what this is about too. This the, the whole channel and talking to people. It's. It's like a debt that I feel like I owe to everyone. For as many people as I talk to here, and they might admire me or my channel in some type of little way, um, I've disrespected just as many people in my youth and in my young adult years. And, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a debt, you know? And that's why I feel like I'm willing to sacrifice myself for others. And, uh... I've done it a lot. I'm doing it to this day. I, I jumped on some other guy's channel. Um, I think today, yesterday or today, actually. And um, I started ripping on him because he was um, saying, fuck you, fuck you to all the Mandela affected people and calling us nerds. And, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. Maybe some of us are nerds, but I'm not one of those nerds. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not. But, you know, the Mandela Effect is bigger than nerds. You know, it's just not for the geek. You know, it's uh, for everyone. And uh, so anyway, my point is, is that I like to uh, butt my nose in sometimes. And um, it usually is just to stick up for other people, you know. And I don't know. I feel like I owe it. So that's another one that I live by. And if any of you know me, then you know that. Okay, um... This is my last big point, and uh, I need to cut it kind of short. Sorry, everyone. Um, you can't be bribed or bought. This one's really important to me, okay? I don't think that status in life has anything to do with this. I don't think that race, color, creed, whatever, has anything to do with it either. But... When you can't be bought because your ethics don't have a price, that to me is the holy grail of this whole ethics talk. Okay, that's, I think a lot of the rest of them will fall in line if this one is followed correctly, you know. Um, now, a lot of you know that I don't monetize my channel. I've had people say thank you for not doing it. Um, you've heard me say that the YouTube strike thing doesn't bother me one bit. Ha 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 ha. I, but I think, and I'm not trying to speak for everyone, but I'm what what I'm thinking is when you do monetize, I think it shows people that you can be bought. Now, don't think about it so negative. I'm trying just I'm trying not to think about it in like in a negative manner, but that tells people that you you have a price. You can be bought. That you are somewhat doing what you're doing for money okay now I think that adds to a little distrust I think that makes people not trust you as much I didn't say they won't trust you just I don't think it's because it tells people something about you and since a lot of us you know when talking about monetizing you know um, which like I said this has to do with being you know bribed or bought 
you know, but I mean, and not that people that monetize are being bribed or bought. I just think that when money is involved, it tells people something about you when you're kind of in a position of leadership. I'm not trying to be anyone's leader, uh, um, but a lot of people on YouTube are educating, putting out, you know, um, things that kind of, I'll just leave it at that. There's a lot of people on YouTube talking about this subject and they are leaders to a certain degree. And these are principles I feel that need to be followed within leadership. You know, um, now, like I said, I don't necessarily mean because, you know, I do YouTube or whatever and I have, you know, uh, subscribers or whatever. Um, what I mean by, you know, leadership, you know, I mean it by, you know, personally in life, okay? Like just the way you are, you know, um, you know, at, at work, you know, um, at home uh, with your, your friends and, you know, loved ones, you know, people that mean things to you. You know, when, when you follow this code of ethics, regardless if they give you a pat on the back and tell you how awesome you are for, um, you know, uh, yeah, sure, you know, um, here's five bucks, you know, whatever, pay me back when you can kind of thing. You know, I didn't say be a pushover, just give people money away. That's not what, at all what I'm talking about. But if you can show that it doesn't mean, if it's not that big of an issue, you know, but if people can, and, and I don't mean just the money thing, you know, I don't mean being bought or sold, you know, I mean all the whole list, you know, the whole code of ethics. And not that I listed every one of them, but I listed ones that are important to me. But this whole code of ethics, you know, it, 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 build, it makes you a leader and builds your character within your group and word spreads about who you are, even if it's small, you know, oh, you know, he's a good guy, oh, that's the sweetest girl, or, you know, they have their head on straight, you know, people are going to say things about you, you know, and it spreads. You know, so I mean, you know, always seek leadership, you know, I mean, even if it's, you know, it's around just one other person and it's not like leadership, you know, you don't think about it as you're walking in front and you have people all walking behind you, you know, think about it as you stand your ground, you know, firmly with your chest out, you know, and you know, the code you live by is an ethical one that is worth people following or admiring or emulating you know it's a good thing it's not like you're leading people down the wrong direction you know so I mean it's not like you know your everyday you know pop artist or whatever you know uh, I had a huge argument on another thread about uh, Metallica and Lady Gaga singing together and how you know it's basically just a big old money money circus you know and you know people came out attacking me you know saying all this crap and I, I wasn't being very kind I was just basically saying that there's no integrity integrity in being you know this type of sellout and it really hurts when it's you know like a rock band like Metallica and I said that you know Lady Gaga you know from her birth of her career has built it around money and that type of thing and I don't like it you know, but again, I feel like I have integrity and a certain code of ethics, and I felt like calling out, you know, these people on their lack thereof. Um, just remember that integrity equals trust, and trust equals leadership. And like I said, don't think about it as like the leader of some army. Think about it, you know, as, you know, a leader within your own life, you know, with your own, with yourself, you know. Um, now, lack of integrity leads to lack of devotion in all ways. And I don't know what you people hear when I say devotion, but it can just be attention, friendship, you know, it can be, just, it, it can be your, your or respect for your own position in your career and in your life, you know, that people are devoted to your space and to who you are. You know, and if you have lack of these things, integrity, you have, you get no devotion from anyone in, in every way, you know, and, you know, if, and maybe it's cause I'm too old, you know, but something I heard another person talk about was how a handshake used to mean something, but it doesn't anymore because nobody has any integrity anymore. Um, and I thought to myself, it's like, you know, and this is what I wanted to say is that if, you know, you follow steps like these, a handshake will mean something again, even with it, even if it's with it, with just you, you know, I mean, that's how, that's how I've built it around my life. It's something I've already been doing for years, 
But when you shake my hand and we have a deal, we have a deal, you know, whatever it is, personally, you know, um, financially or, you know, uh, dealing with work or whatever, you know, I shake your hand, it means something. And that's something that's been lost because people have lost their integrity, which is a virtue I wish that a lot more people shared. But it's like literally the virtue people share is the opposite. I don't know what the opposite really of integrity is, but... I guess I, I don't know, I just call them sellouts, I guess, but it, that's kind of simple sounding, like simple minded, but I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I just, they're just, you know, that seems like the way people live now. Um, so if there's, if there's anything that I can say, it's that for all of us that are involved in this, I feel like we all have a certain amount of integrity to a certain degree to live the life that we live, aside from the Mandela effect, you know, but the lives that we live, because we are a little different, a lot of us are loners, you know, and hopefully a lot of us still walk with our head held high and not beaten down little hidden little souls, which I know that happens to a lot of us. And, you know, I, 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 all I can do is hope that you have more confidence in who you are and in your in the in, in the position that you hold in life and that you deserve that position you deserve your own space to hold that position however you hold it and if you follow a code of ethics that are second to none it doesn't matter if people follow you they're not we're not meant to have a majority of people following but they will respect you they will honor the leadership role that you hold in your own life and they'll follow suit people will understand and give you what you deserve and um, so it's really important to me this whole thing it's really important so I've made this video last too long and for anybody that's hung on this long I'll know because of the comment that you leave not that I'm gonna make you leave a comment but if you've listened to it this far you're gonna hear something I didn't put anywhere else in the description or anything so you're gonna be one of the few people I'm sure that may listen to it this long 27 minutes into the uh, video but today is my birthday um, and if you guess how old I am that's if I haven't talked to you about it before don't be cheating don't be cheating man and women women don't be cheating if I've talked to you about my age before, you were disqualified, so it doesn't count. But if you guess my age, and after all the comments come in, after, you know, 24, 48 hours or whatever, I'll, I'll let it go for a little while, for at least 48 hours, okay? Any of you that get it right, even if there's multiple, I will draw you a portrait of your favorite person, okay? Um, celebrity, YouTube, YouTuber myself yourself whatever all right if you guess my age i will make you a portrait and you only get one guess all right if the turnout isn't good i'll give you a couple of guesses but if there's a couple if there's quite a few guesses going i'm gonna have to give y'all one but uh but yeah so on my next video i'll show you guys the portraits i drew for each and every one of you and i'll write your name down on the on the portrait and i'll hold it up for everybody to see for guessing my age right but anyway that's it I'm gonna get out of here I'm so sorry for dragging your life out for half an hour I'm sorry uh, hopefully you were doing something else while you were listening to me it's not like you really have to watch my video but you know you can do something else while it's on you know so um, so anyway I appreciate everyone thanks for everyone that sat around and listened to this whole spiel that I have on integrity um, I'll speak to you guys soon and uh, like always, you got to remember, stay strong, everyone. Seriously. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.